VSAT is a technology used to define two ways satellite communication, which transmits and receives data from relatively small satellite dish on Earth and communicates with an orbiting geostationary satellite 22,300 miles above Earth equator. Content originates at the hub, which features a very large antenna. The hub controls the network through a network management system server, which allows the network operator to monitor and control all components of the network. Outbound information from the hub to the VSAT is sent up to communications satellite transponder, which receives it, amplifies it, and beams it back to the Earth for reception by the remote VSAT. The VSAT at a remote location send information inbound from the VSAT to the hub via the same satellite transponder to the hub station. Uh, this is a Fly 75V, so it's a auto-pointing, fully motorized, auto-acquire flyaway antenna. So push one button on this controller, find satellite, and within two minutes you're connected to the satellite, and you're broadcasting, and you're streaming, transmitting, receiving, high-speed internet. Big disaster, emergency medical services, uh, law enforcement, uh, forest service uses them, you know, at the, uh, when there's a forest fire. Um, we have insurance companies that set up when there's a when there is a major disaster. They'll go and set up a mobile field office where they can process claims. Um, we know of some uh, drug stores that have they, they 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 put these on big vans. You know they put them on vans that have you know the ability to put a a, a desk and to process data and information so that they can process insurance claims. They can process like Walgreens has some. In the case of NGOs, there, the functionality of the technology is predetermined. I mean, there's, it's, it's meant to improve and, and increase the efficiency of their, uh, the relationship between their field offices and their central offices and to ensure rapid deployment if necessary when it comes to, let's say, humanitarian crisis. In an emergency, the, each emergency is different. So you might arrive in one and the commercial network is down. You might arrive in a second and there never was a commercial network, and you might arrive in a third and the commercial network is up. And so you want to bring the technology that's appropriate for that context. So if there is a telecom system in the country that is down, which is increasingly the case, the GSM networks are often built but then overloaded or damaged in an emergency. And in those situations, we will come in for a short period of time from day one until the commercial network comes online and provide satellite service uh, because the satellite, of course, is you know 22,500 miles in the sky, and so it's not damaged by an earthquake or by a conflict. And so we backhaul out using the satellites and VSATs or um, are one of our solutions, um, and BGANs, uh, which are smaller satellite units, are another one of our solutions. All the way down to handheld units, you know, we use the ISAT Phone Pro often from Inmarsat. Um, uh, for that purpose. And so when our first team comes in, they come in only with a small kit that they can bring on commercial air, um, and they'll have uh, a couple BGANs um, and a couple ISAT phones, maybe more than a couple ISAT phones, a Wi-Fi router, a laptop, those types of things that we can carry with us. Then when we arrive, we will be able to use the VSATs that people have in place that weren't damaged, and we're trained on establishing the VSAT link and pointing the satellite dish. We set up individual centers that are backhauled out using satellite, and so people come to us. Um, or we will uh, go to camps and have our teams go out to camps and set up centers on a daily basis at the different camps. And most recently, what we've started doing is we'll use these GSM systems in a box. We worked with Vodafone on a system called the uh, Instant Network. And what that is, is it's three Pelican cases, each of which can fit in a commercial airline. So we'll send three people with three Pelican cases, and that allows us to set up a temporary GSM network. It has its own mast, um, and it'll, we can do a third of a mile or so system and allows people to use their own uh, phones to communicate back out in an emergency. We then use a, a VSAT to backhaul that out. So all the information comes in from individual phones in a camp, let's say, uh, to our mask that we set up. That then is hooked up to a VSAT, and the VSAT takes all of that and pipes it back out to uh, a base station 
someplace else through the satellite our work in healthcare. And so we work on the border between Myanmar and Thailand um, with the Oxford University Health uh, System and with um, a local medical school in Thailand. Uh, and there are a string of health centers along the border uh, that serve people who have come over from Myanmar. Um, often uh, people come through with malaria one, because of the journey. Uh, and this is most dangerous for pregnant women who have malaria. And so they've set up these health centers to help people. It's a great tool for certain jobs and not as good for others. It's big, and so it's hard to carry with you. You can't bring it on a commercial plane. Um, there are more restrictions on VSATs from a regulatory point of view than there are on other things. It's more expensive than if you were going to do it using a landline or using a commercial uh, wireless broadband, widely distributed broadband system. It also requires more training to set it up and maintain it. So you really need to know what you're doing to set up a VSAT. Attaching um, uh, a GSM systems to satellite for backhaul. I think more and more people, when we encounter them in the field, have their own devices. And even among uh, refugee populations, a huge percentage are coming with their own phones. And so in the past, we would have to bring everything. But now if they've got their own phones, whether they're using GSM or they're using Wi-Fi over those phones, they've got a piece of equipment, and they're going to want to use their own piece of equipment. And we want them to use their own piece of equipment. And so. Making sure they can do that, I think, is going to be an important thing over the next several years. That's going to mean having GSM and Wi-Fi available um, uh, on a distributed basis. So that last mile, really that last quarter mile, you know, the little bubble that we build around, we're going to have to be flexible on how we do that. I also see in, in VSATs, the VSAT technology is getting better. You see smaller dishes, you see self-pointing dishes, you see dishes that are easier to uh, operate.